I wanted to have a little talk with you today while I'm sitting out in my garden here in Southern California and watching the birds come and feed and taking in the sunshine and the fresh air. And I just had a revelation of sorts of a message that needs to get out to the children of the world. And coincidentally, it's my son's ninth birthday today, so it's a good day for me to bring it forth. So what we have right now is a falling away of what we considered our leaders. We were, when we grew up, we were told to look up to certain people, whether they be movie stars, politicians, um, you know, sports athletes, and anybody else that was put up on this stage. And we were told these people have you know, taken in the essence of greatness. And we're coming to find out that perhaps these people who weren't who they said they were, and perhaps their intentions weren't quite, quite as honorable as we hoped they would be. So where do we turn now? And fortunately, there is still an answer, has always been an answer, and will be an answer for anybody who wishes to embrace their human existence because within our own hearts we have something called great spirit or access to great spirit which is really the center of the universe which literally means one song of creation uni one verse song so that is the real essence of our pathway to greatness because nothing great comes to any human being that does not walk in harmony with great spirit because anything not in harmony with great spirit will be a trend it'll be a fad it'll be something that fades away over time because it wasn't built on the proper principles it didn't have the substance to stand the test of time when you look to nature, everything in nature is a perpetual exchange of energy. Life and then death and then death leads the pathway to new life. So we see that when we look to the creator and we look to great spirit, there's a lot of sense and a lot of order. Everything has a mathematics to it. Every single pomegranate has the same number of seeds no matter how big it is and the way that the uh, plants grow the trees grow is in something called the fibonacci series which is a repeating set of numbers one zero one one two three five eight thirteen etc so you have to add up um, the number from the previous number to get the next number so but basically that's why the ancients built everything with these mathematical codes whether it be pi or you know uh, phi or whatever the ratios the golden ratios all of those were put into the ancient monuments because they were the language of creation and the ancients studied the language of creation, the mathematics of creation, and they were able to build in harmony with natural law. So why don't we know this today? And why isn't it being practiced? Because people have gotten away from the true way, the beauty way, the way of a human being, the way that we were meant to be, and we've taken in these false concepts given to us by these false leaders. But at the end of it, we each have to take personal responsibility because we should know better. We were given free will, the ability to make our own choices that make up our own lives. And we have to honor that gift by making the right choices. That's where the idea of righteousness comes from being right, choosing things that are in harmony with nature, that aren't doing harm to other living beings and other living things. So these um, 
ideas have not been taught in our schools. They're not being brought forth on our televisions because it's something that is very empowering. When you know that you don't have to go to any outside source to get to the source, the creator of life within yourself and nobody else, your destiny within yourself. You were born under a certain t uh, star at a certain time for a certain reason and you had a purpose, a reason why you decided to be born and that is within your own heart and known by great spirit and known by the creator of life. But your destiny is not guaranteed. Your destiny has to be fulfilled by your actions. So everything that was given to you in your imagination is a thing that belongs to you. And I encourage you to draw, write, color, create, because we are indeed co-creators of this universe or one song of creation. We are the caretakers for this earth. We are the ones that are supposed to make sure that these pomegranates have enough water and, in, and are, have enough nutrients in the soil to properly grow. And this way we can feed ourselves and feed animals and make a more beautiful world for everyone else to witness with all these not only amazing fruit that comes off the tree, but look at all these beautiful flowers that are blooming. And you can see the little pomegranates all over the place starting to grow. I'm gonna have so many pomegranates, I'm gonna have to give them away, which is nice. And that's kind of the point, is when you work with nature, you can be generous because nature creates abundance. It's only in this man-made world do we see everything in scarcity, that everything is on low supply and a high price tag. So when you get back to nature, you not only creating abundance for yourself, but your family, you're creating an abundance of health within. So let's talk about what we really get to take with us in this life, what really matters. And when you really consider it, you were born into this world naked with nothing. That's a sign and a message to you that within you is all that you need. Yes, you're gonna have to sustain and find ways to interact with this earth and interact with your community, but the true journey of life is what is not being built on the outside, but what is being built on the inside. Who are you becoming with each decision that you make? and with where you spend your energy and what you do with your life. There is nothing more important and there is nothing that you are more responsible for than your own energy. So cultivate it, move it, practice it, use it to benefit yourself and others and create, co-create, a more beautiful world for us all to experience and for the children in the future generations. That is really the hallmark of a life well lived, a life with purpose. Your life made a difference because you lived, everybody else experienced a better life. What could be more fulfilling? And when we have a sense of fulfillment, we feel a sense of contentment. And contentment literally means with the Creator. And that's our biofeedback. That's our signal within that we are on the right track. So when we really take a look at it as human beings, we are given every single emotion for a very important purpose. The Creator didn't give us one thing that we can throw out that we shouldn't consider it all matters there is nothing random it's exact mathematics so i say every day one thing you can do is look in the mirror and see how does your health look what is the biofeedback are, are was your diet for the previous days contributing to your health or was it diminishing your health? And you'll be able to see it, you'll be able to feel it. So this is how you create an internal wisdom and begin to understand how the 
forces of this earth interact with your own body temple and your body is indeed a temple of great spirit but only if you cultivate it and make it home in your heart and there's an ancient practice called tai chi and qigong that basically interacts the forces it said it creates a bridge between heaven and earth and what does that mean it connects you to great spirit it connects you to all the cosmic energies because all of our physiology is literally connected to astrology as the stars move our psychology changes and the earth shifts so we that's another sign to us that there's exact mathematics and a creator of life who made this mathematical concept and code that is making all of creation move in a free will sense so this is why we each have to take responsibility for the state of the world if we don't like the way the world is today we are the ones our parents our forefathers who created this reality so we ha once we take that responsibility we can do something we can shift it in another direction and it really starts with your own individual health when you feel great you can do great things and when you feel great it's a sign biofeedback that you are on your right track and your true destiny is always going to be to be in harmony with nature so if you're in harmony with nature you'll always be free of this ease which is stuck chi or the body's energy not moving properly that means that you are not applying your energy by destiny for what you were built for to the canvas of life correctly according to your own soul so this is where you can't get angry at anybody when you see that your health isn't doing well because it's your own soul that is saying that an adjustment has to be made now we do live in a toxic time and we live in a very toxic reality with our water our air um, our food everything is been tainted everything has you know been toxins have been added the growing practices have changed it's not as clear uh, clean and as pure as it used to be once upon a time so that means that right now we have to be extra vigilant with our health because we don't have much room for error and so I it really starts with knowing your food grow your food <laughs> start with a little garden you know just start knowing all right no pesticides no gmos no nonsense was added to this soil and guess what you'll start to see the produce tastes exceptionally good why because there's no waxes there's no sprays it hasn't been sitting on the shelf it's been you know getting nourished by the tree or the the earth until you're ready to eat it so we have to see that these things do matter they say that the man of Tao, the ancient man of wisdom, only eats the rarest and best fruit. And by eating the most original and rare and best food, you have the most original, rare and best thoughts. Because the food grows under the cosmic energies, the sun, the moon, and it collects these energies with wisdom. And when you ingest these plants energetically, they're the color of the plant, the energy of the plant is moving through your physiology and downloads of wisdom are coming. So if you want to see a wise man eats wise foods, there is no such thing as a wise man who doesn't know the value of good food because without that nutrition, without that supreme um, you know oxygenation in your blood where the nutrients and everything is flowing and you, you know and it's going to your brain and you're getting clear thoughts without all that taking place you can't think clearly 
So every thought you have is going to be off by some degree, the degree in which your health is off. So if you want to see the pathway to unlocking all of your talents, your destiny, and all of the great things and restoring the beauty way, it begins within. It begins by building yourself up. Read a book, write, practice, dig in, go the extra mile, go the extra distance, because every time you push yourself, you challenge yourself, you take in more, you get more gifts within. And without the practice, the gifts don't come. Lazy people will never get exceptional results. So anyways, I just wanted to bring forth a little different perspective and one that I feel like has been here since the beginning of time. And it's really just in our modern world that we have been programmed, brainwashed, and completely led astray to be something we are not. We are not robots. We are not here for a transhuman agenda. We are here to realize our destiny as human beings in harmony with natural law and in harmony with our true soul. So I encourage all to look within and connect with the earth, get your feet on the earth, walk on the beach, lay on the grass, but that earth's energy, the Schumann resonance also brings forth wisdom and it takes the inflammation out of your body it's an antioxidant it's very restorative to the equilibrium the homeostasis within so anyways thank you for tuning in it's uh i'm gonna get out here and enjoy this beautiful day i'm gonna get out to the beach today i'll probably shoot a video later but uh thank you for tuning in once again and i will talk with you soon